The Dark Imperium. For 10,000 years, the Imperium of Man has endured. Yet, perhaps now, it faces its darkest hour. With Cadia, mankind's bulwark against the eye of terror for millennia, gone, shattered by Abaddon's 13th Black Crusade, darkness has fallen upon the Imperium. New Age of War has begun. This is a dark age. Of all the many ages of mankind, it may be the darkest. The Imperium, which has endured for 10,000 years through civil wars, Xenos invasions, and conflicts beyond number, is beset as never before. The destruction of Cadia brought with it surging warp storms across the galaxy. As the gatehouse of the Imperium fell, and Abaddon gathered his legions for an assault upon Holy Terra itself, the Imperium all but ceased to be. The light of the Astronarchon, the slender thread that can rightly be said to be all that holds together the vast, disparate domains of the Imperium of Man, flickered out as the warp storms grew to such intensity that they became known as the Blackness. The Noctus Eternia. The constant tumult and upheaval of the Immaterium, of the very warp itself, spilled out across real space. The stuff of nightmares, burning across the flesh of creation like acid. And worse was still to come, as the gathering storm gave birth to a great rift, the Citatrix. Maledictum, a rent in reality, in its size to the Eye of Terror, as a slit throat is to a pinprick. And slit the Imperium's throat was. With the Astronomicon blocked out, astropathic communication and long-distance travel were all but made impossible, for even the most skilled navigators could not direct vessels through the screaming warp. And to reach out across the distances with one's mind, to invite madness and death if one was lucky. Demon storms howled out from the rift, consuming planets in raw insanity and terror. The demon primarchs, Magnus, Motarian, and others led legions of traitors in a renewed assault upon the domain of an emperor they had denounced in an age regarded by many as myth and folklore. The Imperium which had stood against all of this for 10,000 years, was beset all about by chaos. Demons stalked the stars, and the rule of man on hundreds of worlds faltered, as civilization itself crumbled in the face of impossible horrors. But, if chaos is ascendant, then it is faced with an Imperium resurgent, Resurrected with the assistance of the Eldari, as Abaddon the Despoiler's 13th Black Crusade marched across the galaxy. Robout Gleeman, Primarch of the Ultramarines, is once more Lord Commander of the Imperium's armies. The Adeptus Astartes have been rejuvenated by the creation of the Primaris Space Marines, millennia in the making. And the Imperium is once again on the offensive against the innumerable perils that assail it. Having turned back the legions of chaos upon the very soil of Terra itself, Gilliman, accompanied by the Imperial Fists, hosts of Primaris Space Marines, and at least a dozen other chapters, embarked on the Indomitus Crusade to liberate worlds under the pall of the Noctus Eternia. As intermittent astropathic communications begin once more to pierce the raging warp storms, so too came the news that there might be hope of salvation at last. The birth of the Great Rift, the Citrix Maledictum, drowned worlds in the insanity of the warp, and from it, horrors continue to spill. There are ways through. One. The Nakmund Gauntlet is rumored to lie close to the Eye of Terror, a cruel irony that would no doubt amuse the Dark Gods. But these roots are fraught with danger. The Imperium is now divided in ways its leaders are only beginning to comprehend. 
Nearly half the galaxy is cut off. Now designated Imperium Nihilus. And few know what has become of the worlds beyond the rift. With its stars drowned in war, the galaxy has entered a new age. The age of the Dark Imperium. And in the Dark Imperium, there is only war.